I ain't gonna even lie, boy. If I... <laughs> yeah. Uh, if your name is Laura Joani, this is not the position you want to be in. Like, Tyler Santos really ain't even have this, this rear naked choke. She ain't even have it set in properly. And this girl's still in immense amount of pain. This girl still want to tap. Like, crazy. Tyler Santos ain't even at 100% yet. Uh, from what I heard, you know, she's at about 80. Between 80 to 85%. Like, she's almost back to where she was. But the Valentina Shevchenko fight, I'm telling you, she suffered a lot of damage in that fight. A lot of damage. And damage that she still wasn't even fully recovered from. And that's what people don't understand. Now, I give Blanchfield full credit for defeating Tyler Santos. I give her full credit. Um, I take nothing away from Blanchfield. But that version of Tyler Santos wasn't 100%. She was at about 60. Like, she just had so many injuries, man. It just started to mount and mount and mount. And it's almost like if you don't address the first couple of injuries and then you have all these injuries still lingering, well, everything begins to add up and then that's it. That's it. I mean, you're hurt. You're injured. And that's the bottom line. But uh, Tyler Santos made easy work out of, you know, a large Joanne. Now, this is a bag, okay? The PFL is, is a very lucrative opportunity for Tyler Santos, and she's actually making more money here in the PFL. A lot more money than what she was even making in the UFC. I mean, damn thing's crazy, man, how these fighters that come to the PFL from the UFC, and these fighters are happy. They're happy, and I'm telling you, I don't know when the infinite money bag at the PFL is going to run out. I don't know. Okay? I don't know when that infinite money bag is going to run dry, but damn it. For as long as that money bag is there, okay, these fighters are happy. These fighters ain't trying to go nowhere. Like, these fighters are legit happy. Okay? Like, the UFC is an afterthought. And so, you, we already know the fact that Kayla Hype Job Harrison left this promotion. Okay? Even though she would make more money over here at the PFL, definitely tells us now that she really didn't want to fight Chris Cyborg. But that's neither here nor there. Okay? Let's... I'm not going to delve into the hype job Harrison narratives here. Um, Tyler Santos can stand to make probably a couple of million dollars. Uh, she can get through this PFL tournament. And to be honest, I think Tyler Santos is going to win. I don't I don't know. I mean, I don't know who's going to defeat Tyler Santos. Okay? Everybody keep telling telling me that D Dick Shiva is going to do it. And I don't know, man. I think Tyler Santos is going to take Dick Shiva take her by the head and just ragdoll her ass. I mean, that's what I feel that Santos is going to do. I just I just think, I don't know, Santos is, is too damn durable, man. Like, you had a girl fighting in a title fight with a broken orbital bone, a fractured orbital bone. This motherfucker, I mean, she should have quit. You know, she, when you have somebody in a fight that can lose their eyesight and they don't really care about that, they still fighting. That's a dangerous person because that person don't have a regard. They don't care about their damn self. So you know they ain't finna care about another fighter. I mean, you know that they're not going to care about any other fighter. So Tyler Santos is dangerous. And the PFL is a lick, man. This is a lick for her. I mean, she's looking at these fighters and she's licking her lips because this easy work. Okay, Tyler Santos is going to run gonna run in, in a rampage in this damn PFL. Okay, she's going to run through this and, and then... And when she meet up with the, um, when she meet up with them, um, uh, Liz Carmouche, I think Tyler Santos gonna beat her ass too. Because I don't want to see. Oh wait a minute, with well, Tyler Santos in the tournament, okay? So she may not get to meet up with Liz Carmouche just yet. But I, I do believe that Tyler Santos gonna win that damn million dollar tournament with no problem. Okay, that million dollar tournament finna be easy work. And then if she ever want to fight for the belt against Carmouche, I think she beats Carmouche. Because I'm sick and tired of Liz Carmouche fighting them, uh, uh, Juliana Velasquez, who, you know, I just act like she don't want to throw strikes against Carmouche. It's crazy. And then Juliana Velasquez, have you believed that she's still winning these fights? You're not winning. Okay, you didn't beat Denise Kilholz. I mean, that was a gift decision because Denise doubled her strikes and beat the hell out of her. But for some reason, I don't know, Denise still can't get the victory. That's crazy, man. That, that's crazy to me. But I don't want to see no more Juliana Velasquez, okay? Get, get, get Juliana Velasquez the hell out of here. Tyler Santos, though, very exciting fighter. And you've never seen a boring Tyler Santos fight. You've never seen it. I'm telling you guys, this is going to be the next champion. This is going to be the next flyweight champion in the PFL. And there's nothing these girls can do about it. Tyler Santos is too damn good. And at 100%, I'm telling you, she, she's unstoppable. 
at 100%, this woman is unstoppable. Okay, she will not be beaten. Okay, and this fight right here gives her the opportunity to heal. Okay, now granted, I hope Tyler Santos don't take any injuries in training, and I hope that she keep this team together. Okay, don't don't play with the money. Okay, don't play with the damn money. You get people paid ASAP. Okay, don't 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 be sitting this. Don't let this shit linger. Oh, did I say that? Don't let this linger. Well, you know, people ain't got their money. You know, you got to keep a good team together, especially if a team is really, really, truly helping you, you know, build your brand. If they're helping you, you know, be the fighter that you are, you get them paid instantaneously. Like they need to have it set up with a 10 percent already come out of the damn money, man. Or whatever, the, whatever the trainer make, they need to have that, that money already gone. So then we ain't got to have these issues of you get the check and then I'm going to pay you out the check. Hell no. But they do that in Brazil. I don't know why Brazilians do that, man. You know, the family atmosphere. It's 2024, man. Don't nobody care about you. Don't nobody care about you and your family and the fact that your family got to eat. Don't nobody care about that. I think a lot of these Brazilians, man, they need to go ahead and, and, and cut that out. Cut it out. And get that money up front. I mean, Tyler, you know, she got to have a team strong. That team got to be strong. If one part of the team fails, then everybody fails. That's just the way that is. But this is a good win for Tyler Santos. I mean, I, I like it, Laura Jelani. I mean, she, she, uh, she's a good fighter, man. It's just, man, this fight, I'm looking at her like, you know, and you know, you see her on Instagram and social media, and she posts all these videos of her doing all this training and, you know, all these hard sparring sessions. Like, she's putting this stuff out there. And then to come in here and just, like, damn. I mean, just take the ass whooping. Like, like, it's almost like no matter what she tried to do, nothing worked. Like, she got beat down. And to me, when she was in Bellator, she was an average fighter. She wasn't, like, a terrible fighter, but she was an average fighter in Bellator. An average fighter in Bellator. That, that's just what it was. But you know what, though? Uh, respect to Tyler Santos for doing what you're supposed to do with somebody who ain't on your level. You're supposed to dispatch up. You're supposed to get him out of there. Now, what's next for Tyler Santos? I mean, she got that quick six. She got the quick six. But a lot of fighters got the quick six. A lot of them did. So, I would probably say they're going to put Tyler Santos in there with Dick Shiva. Okay, that, that's the only viable fight that makes sense. Or, to see what happens after Denise Kilhose, you know, gets her fight going. Okay, but I, I, I almost want to see Tyler Santos and Dick Shiva go at it. And then I, I don't know who they're going to put Kilhose in there with. I don't know. But uh, hopefully, you know, Denise go ahead and get her fight started. And then she go ahead and she get her bag and then let's meet up. Because the real of the championship fight I want to see is Tyler Santos versus Denise Kilhose. But damn, y'all. Welcome Tyler Santos to the PFL because now I'm actually intrigued again. Like, I'm actually watching the PFL women's MMA. Like, I'm watching this now because of Tyler Santos.